Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Upper Deck Synergy Hockey. Five box, half of an inner case, pick your team or random team number seven. One spot gets you three teams in the NHL. And there's a combo right there, no vet commons chip. Big thanks to Rory, Daniel, Ed, and Team Bishop. Thanks, Courtney. So let's triple you up to three. And there's the Ducks Blue Jackets group right there as well. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a six, nine times for each list. One, two, three. Ninth and final time. I think that was it, Logan. That's what ended up getting him banned. He was like, he was like promoting like his own business or something like that. I don't even know what it was. Something loosely hobby related, but and you know, this is not a bulletin board. <laughs> it's not a community bulletin board. It's a place of business. And I had repeatedly warned him a number of times, and just didn't get it. So I'm done. I think he actually emailed a couple times like begging to be unbanned and we're just like no gave you plenty of chances all right nine times uh, stars down to the Bruins and after nine times it was Courtney down to Rory there's nine times right there All right, so Courtney with the Stars, Canadians, Canucks, Predators, Kings, Ed with the Hurricanes, Courtney with the Jets and the Blues, Daniel with the Maple Leafs, Courtney with the Sharks and Oilers, Ed with the Sabres, Courtney with the Flames and Blackhawks, Rory with the Senators, Courtney with the Panthers, Ed with the Coyotes, Courtney with the Rangers, Lightning, Capitals, Golden Knights, Daniel with the Penguins and Wild, Rory with the Red Wings, Courtney with the Devils, Avs, Flyers, Ducks, Blue Jackets combo, Islanders, and Rory with the Boston Bruins. I don't remember that as his username, Rex, but, but yeah, I, I do remember him as that name. All right. I'll, I'll flip back to that list in just a second, but to see if there's any trades. But let's open this up first. Let's see which five we're going to do. All right, let's select a die. Let's select that one right there. One, two, three for the left five, four, five, six for the right five. And it's two right there. All right, any trades? What's my favorite sport to rip? Hockey. Upper Deck Synergy Hockey is my favorite. That's right, Robert. Yeah, whatever, what, whatever's full. Whatever break that fills is my favorite break or sport or product to rip. TWC trade window closed. ABC, always be closing. Always be closing. Uh, and indeed it is, Mike Tower. It's, uh, it is opening night of the NHL. What's, what's happening in the NHL right now? Should I go? I think we have NHL Network. We got NHL tonight. Not sure, Trevor. Check CardboardConnection.com and look up this product and get back to us on that. All right. There's the Synergy Hockey right here. Good luck, everyone. There's the final printout right here. Let me get this into the paper stand. Looks like Flyers beat the Penguins 6-3. So 
I think all the teams are playing each other in their division, right? They're not traveling outside of their division, so they're playing their own div their teams in their own divisions like a million times. go through these here. Mitch Marner. There's Anze Kopitar to 349. Shifley. Now, my hockey knowledge is not super strong. I do know this guy, though, Connor McDavid. So forgive me for any uh, butcherings of names. Well, yeah, TJ, he would. Man. That goes to the Oilers. That'll be for Courtney. There's Tuka Rask. Hiller, what's going on, man? Happy New Year. Rex and TJ in the chat? It's like the old days. Where's, uh, we just need, uh, we just need Eddie. Johnny questions. Where's, where's Woe Hockey? Where's Adam Kupperman? We need Woe Hockey. We need, well, Rex is still here. TJ's still here. Uh, there's a Mark Shifley die cut. What else do we need here? The coach, Paul Nixon. Where's the coach? Volleyball Nancy. There he is. There's Adam. There's Will Hockey, Hiller, Rex. Where's Arthur? Yeah, get, get Nancy in here. Arthur. It'll be just like, just like the old days. This feels like five years ago. Ah, and there's our first Alexis Lafreniere. Oh, we like Nancy. We've got Alexis Lafreniere, Rangers. Courtney with that one. I know, there's way too many. Am I really going to... Yeah, I, I, don't, I might as well. I got this started. I was going to be like, am I sleeving all those numbered cards? I forgot how, how many of them there were, I think. I think I am. There's Pierre Luc Dubois and Kotrick. So no metal card in here. Just kind of one of the highlights of this set, I would say. All right, we gotta get Nick Jaspi in here. It'll be just, it'll be just like the old, just like the old days. It feels like it feels like five years ago now. Really? Why, why does Amber saying Pierre Luc Dubois wants out of Columbus after he signed a $10 million contract on December 31st? I feel like that's relatively recent. What, 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 what made him change his mind in the last couple of weeks? He's given no reason, but he stated, huh. Oh, speak for yourself, Logan. The rest of the crew are a bunch of winners here. Sebastian Ajo spending their va valuable entertainment hours with Jaspies instead of some other form of entertainment. We're, we're a lot better. Mira Heiskanen to 449. It's Gabe Velarde. The Kings playing tonight? Speaking of Gabe, he's kind of an up-and-coming star. No, no kings tonight. So I guess you, there's some like some bounties you can chase right here. It's Hellebuck. So the only final is Flyers 6 uh, over the Penguins, 6-3. I think Blackhawks at Lightning in the first quarter. Lightning up 1-0, one 1-0. Nothing. One one nothing. At the end of the second period, Canadians and Maple Leafs are tied at 3. More uh, 
Connor McDavid for Courtney. And there's our first autographs are fewer and far between. And that's Bowen Byram, I think. 34 out of 49 for Colorado. That's going to be for Courtney and the Avs. Yeah, he wants out, Tortorella said. Told Rothman and Ice on 97.1 The Fan in Columbus. He spoke to the team as we do here. I wish he was a little bit more honest as far as reason why. So they just don't know? Kind of odd. Why would you sign a contract? This is like the thirty first was what? Two weeks ago? What did, what changed in two weeks? This is Kale McCarr, he's pretty good. Avs. Lonnie's asking, were retail cards impossible to come across five years ago? No, the gang will tell you, the old school gang will tell you that they were plentiful. At least for us. I mean I, I would I would be able to go to their stomp coast right here. I'd be able to go like five, six years ago. I could walk into like a, an, a Rite Aid, my local Rite Aid or Walgreens, and you'd find like hanger packs of like absolute football and prism and all sorts of things. But the, the hobbies changed considerably because, because like what's inside those retail packs are now far more valuable than they were five or six years ago. But yeah, retail, and they didn't make a lot of retail either. Right, they'd be in clearance bins all the time at like Walmart, yep. Yeah, but again, they, they just weren't as, like what you could find inside wasn't as valuable. Every once in a while they'd release like, you know, a, a I don't know, a baseball set or something. Tops would release like a baseball retail set that if you, you could find like some cool red ink auto somewhere. But there's really nothing there. Yeah, I, I used to, you know, I used to be able to just pick up just a random pack and just goof off. Like, I think some of you may remember, I'd, I'd go run and, and I'd go run to, uh, like, Rite Aid to get some snacks. And I'd come back and be like, hey, I got a pack. I mean, yeah, I think, I think Rex is right. You know, I think essentially it was, retail was pretty much just something for, like, kids to goof around with. There was really no... It's essentially junk. People didn't really do much with it. Aside from just goof around with it. Just for fun. Alright. Carey Price. There's Ryan McLeod. 99. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you really missed much, Lonnie. As as Logan's indicating. I don't think you missed that. I don't think you missed much. I guess maybe you missed just the fun of just being able to walk into a, a grocery store or something and pick up a couple packs and just, you know, flip through them just for, just for funsies. But if that's what you're looking for, I don't think, then yeah, you may, might, may have missed that boat. The die cut right here, Austin Matthews. Maple Leafs. What's going on in that Maple Leafs game? Austin Matthews has no goals, no assists. Wow. The Maple Leafs had scored three goals by the end of the second period. I would have said that Austin Matthew would at least be involved. In a goal, but not the case. There's Sean Tavares. 749, Toronto. At the die cut going to Daniel Katz, by the way. So many numbered cards. I kind of have to go through these one by one. Shane Bowers to 99. Nicholas Bodine to 899. Alexander Barker. I have not seen Kale McCarr. Oh. Thought it was flipped around. I was like, this is going to be an autograph. This goes to uh, Courtney. He's pretty good to 749. Amber, I think you can you, you can go say hi to Rex. You should go say hi to Rex. Is, uh, Rex, aren't you in that area? You can visit him at work with Jonathan Taves to 799.
Rex, uh, shout out your grocery store. Shout out your grocery store. Maybe you can you can do some do some trades. Trade some hits. Lonnie's like, I feel like if I would have taken my king care of your cards as a kid, you'd probably be rich now. I guess it depends on how when you were a kid. If you were a kid when maybe Mickey Mantle rookies, early 50s Mickey Mantles, yeah, might be rich now. I know, right, TJ? I, I was actually more thinking maybe they could do some trades, do some Jaspi trading. trading. Logan just jumped right to that. Yeah, Michael Jordan's in the 80s. Patrice Bergeron to 249. No, is Rex too shy to shout out his grocery store? He doesn't want to be doesn't want to be uh, accosted by tons of Jaspies fans. Hey, Jaspies told me to visit. It is Braden Point to 498-449. Yeah. A Amber's doing just fine. Thank you very much. There's Andre Vasilevsky. Another die cut for Tampa Bay. That'll be for Courtney. Or the first die cut for Tampa Bay. Just a second die cut. There's Wayne Gretzky. Oilers to 999. There you go. The Kroger in uh, Legionnaire, the tiny one. The only one? <laughs> At a 749, there's Connor McDavid. For Edmonton, that'll be for Courtney. Seven forty nine, Liam Foudy. Really? The Drillers old manager, TJ, is saying, and TJ used to work in a minor league baseball or works in minor league baseball, was a teammate of Nolan Ryan when he was a rookie. He said, at the end of the year, Nolan opened his locker and tossed all the fan mail he received. Come on, Nolan. Just just, just big time in us, huh? There's Tyler Benson to 749. I thought Nolan Ryan grew up, uh, was in an era where they just signed all of those things. Like you'd be able to mail those in back in the day all the time. And you'd get an autograph back. All right, and the last box. I feel like we need a metal card. I haven't seen a metal card here. Let's go heavy metal. Although Nolan Ryan's early years, were they, they were a little shaky, weren't they? Maybe he just thought, maybe he just thought, I'm no good. I'm going to throw all those away. Ooh, I think this is a metal card. Let's see if it's autographed. Nice, hello. Welcome back. The 349. Rasmus Dahlin, Stamkos to 449. Patrice Bergeron to 899. We got Tyler Benson to 749. I'm mixing out my piles here to see if I have numbered cards. These are the non numbered cards. To 
349, Peyton Krebs. Ooh, a Macar medal. That, that would make that would make Courtney very happy. It's Josh Norris. Nicholas Bodine. Trevinen to 349 for the Hurricanes, I think. Ed with that. Vegni Malkin. We got Zach Werenski to uh, 749 for Columbus. That'll be for Courtney. Ovechkin. Metal card. Are you autographed? There is a Martin Kaut. Behind the metal card is Alexis Lafreniere. Nice. And no auto, but there's Gabe Velarde for the Kings. Maybe you should pay more closer attention to hockey this year, Courtney. Is this the year? This goes to the, I guess I'd be a Kings fan. Courtney with the Kings gets the Gabe Velarde metal card. And Courtney also has the Rangers, gets the uh, Alexis Lafreniere. He's supposed to be... The next big thing. Hi, Gabriella. There's the 9.99. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.